So 1.19 has changed jigsaw blocks ever so slightly. And today I'm going to give you some tools to deal with that. But I'm also going to assume that you've watched the first jigsaw video. It's popping up on screen right now in case you haven't. But let's take a look at the main error that happens in 1.19 now that didn't happen in previous versions. So we got a, a fully set up jigsaw block. We hit generate and nothing happens. So if we open up the Minecraft game output, we will see the error here. So it says no starting jigsaw Minecraft walk side. That's the connector name found in start pool Talon pool. So what that means is that it can't find the connector in the room that it chose to start the generation with. So in our case, that means it's picked this as the starting room. And it looks for the connector name Minecraft walk side. Can't find it because all that's here is Minecraft Billy. And so it cancels the generation and we get the error. The weird thing is it actually used to work in the opposite order. It would find all the rooms that had the correct connector name first and then pick a room from that list. So it would actually totally exclude this as a starting point, which makes perfect sense. And the weirder thing is that current terrain or a jigsaw generation actually generates using the old method. So that kind of makes me think this whole thing is a bug, but because it's in the game, I'll show you what you can do about it. So we'll start with the easiest but least effective solution first, and I'll teach you slash place for fun. So go ahead and press F3 and G to open up your chunk borders. And the interesting thing about jigsaw blocks is that their generation is chunk specific. So when you run the command or place the jigsaw block, it'll pick a seed based off of which chunk it is. So then you'll get a different seed here, you'll get a different seed here. And what that means is that if your generation fails, try moving to a new chunk. Um, and to make that easier for you, I'm gonna teach you how to use slash place. So we're just gonna be doing the slash place space jigsaw part of the command for now. And it's gonna be pretty simple if you already understand how jigsaw blocks work. So first off, we just have to put in our target pool. Easy enough. It's the same as the target pool section inside of a jigsaw block. Um, the next sub parameter, I guess it's just a regular parameter, is the target connector name. So for us, Minecraft walk side. And then we have to specify the max depth, which is limited in, in the same way that the regular jigsaw blocks are. So it can only go between one and seven. We can't put eight in. Um, and then we just have to specify the position and I'll use relative coordinates here. And then we can just summon it in and hope it works. And what do you know, it does. So slash place will still fail in the same areas that the jigsaw block fails. So I'll show you a more complete solution. I'm going to teach you how to split the template pool file. This is a really powerful technique that gives you a lot of control over your jigsaw block generation, and that's why we're using it to fix the bug. So to start off with, we gotta decide on a starting connector. I'm gonna use the connector that's in the most rooms, and the way you know it's in a room is the name box here, not the target name box. So you want to pay attention to which rooms have the starting connector in them. So this has Minecraft walk side, and this has Minecraft walk side. And then you're going to make a note of any rooms that don't have the starting connector in them. So this has no Minecraft walk side in it. So the way we make a note of it is we go look at the structure name, which in this case happens to be the same as the <laughs> connector name. Uh, but yeah, you're paying attention to the structure name here. Then from your world folder, you're gonna go into your data pack to where your template pool files are stored. You're gonna copy it and paste it here and rename it to something different. I'm just gonna name it to pool two. That's easy enough. And then you're gonna open both of them up. So in the first pool, you're gonna look for the odd room out, which in our case was Minecraft Billy, and you're going to remove it and make sure you get all the brackets and the comma. It does not like it if there's an extra comma. Go ahead and save that. And then in the second pool, you're going to update the name. So uh, we'll just put this as pool two, same as the file name. And theoretically you can leave everything like this and just save it and I believe it works. Um, if you're more methodical though, 
you're going to want to clear out all of the rooms that don't share a connector name with the odd room out. Remember, connector name, not target name. So anything that doesn't have the Minecraft Billy connector name, which this doesn't, this doesn't, and this doesn't, uh, you're going to remove those. Like so and I'm just going to put the bracket back in the correct spot, although that doesn't matter so much, and then save. Once you've done that, back in Minecraft, you need to save and quit to refresh the template pool file and then reload. And the last thing you got to do is update any jigsaw block that has the connector name from the odd room out in its target name spot. So basically any jigsaw block looking for those rooms that we moved. And then if you find one, hey, look at that, Minecraft Billy, you can be like, hey, I moved that room into pool number two. And then you hit done and you save the appropriate structure and you're good to go. And now the generation won't fail because it can only pick from the rooms that have the appropriate connector. So look at that. You know how to use slash place. You know how to make, ooh, that's a fancy one. Oh, wow, this is huge. <laughs> You know how to split the template pool files, which is a very powerful thing. There's a lot of room for creativity with that. And it gives you, like I said before, a lot of control over how your rooms generate. So you know both of those things. So I hope this was helpful to you and you enjoyed it. And that's going to be it for me. So I'll catch you next time. Later, later. Mm -hmm.